everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Renny. If it's your first time, welcome and thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Today I'm going to be talking about how I moved from one industry to another with very minimal experience but still got a pay raise. I think it's very important for other young adults to hear these stories and know that they can do it too. hope this is very helpful and stay tuned. So I'll do this as kind of a story time. When I graduated, and I graduated just two years ago, I graduated and I got a business analyst role. I graduated from a program that I studied both marketing and operations management, and I found a business analyst role which was aligned with my business, with my operations uh, specialization. I worked here for about a year and it just wasn't the right fit for me. I'm someone who really enjoys speaking with people. I'm someone who enjoys interacting with lots and lots of cross-functional teams and someone who enjoys um, being very creative. And in this role, I wasn't really able to do that. Even though I asked for more work, I, I simply was not able to utilize these skills that I wanted to utilize. So I decided to look for a new role after about nine months and I started applying for marketing roles. It was very, very hard to even get a response for marketing roles because when you don't have the formal marketing experience on your resume, a lot of companies are not willing to hire you, which is unfortunate because there are so many talented people that may not have the formal experience. But I think I found a way that you can still get in even if you don't have those marketing manager roles on your resume. When I was a business analyst, I wasn't just working my 9 to 5, but after hours and during my lunch break, I was networking, networking, networking. I think this is something that is very important if you want to move into another industry because oftentimes when you don't have that practical experience, it's more of your personality and the people that you meet that will help you get a new role. So for example, I joined, uh, I connected with the campus recruitment team at my work. Although I was not a student anymore, I helped them recruit different students across the campuses across Ontario. This was something that allowed me to connect with them and learn about other opportunities that were in the bank because obviously they're in HR. People and they eventually were able to introduce me to someone in marketing. This person can be someone who just acts as your mentor or it can be someone who actually is able to get you a job. A tip that I have for when you meet someone and you want to make a further connection with them, so say you ask them to look over your resume for example, but you want to continue the conversation and build a relationship, you should really make sure you leave that meeting by asking them if you can have a follow-up meeting later on. A good tip that I have is to ask them for 30 minutes in their calendar on a monthly basis. Just tell them that you really value their opinion and you really hope that you can make this an ongoing relationship. You don't want a lot of their time because you understand that they're busy, but if they could give you 30 minutes in your calendar, you would be very grateful. Make sure that you make the most out of those 30 minutes because you don't, the, the worst thing that can happen is that you go to those meetings and you're not prepared. It's not helpful to anyone and they're less likely to want to book meetings with you in the future. So that's, I can do a whole video on mentorship if you want to see that. So if you want to see it, just let me know in the comments below. As I said, networking has really been a game changer for me. Instead of just meeting people online on LinkedIn when you can't really put a face to the name, I met with people in person and I was able to make connections with people who are already in marketing, who can give me advice on how to get into marketing and who will know about different job opportunities. So networking is a major key. I ain't make these rules up. I ain't make them up. The second thing I suggest, and this is in conjunction with the other tips that I give, is that you volunteer in different things that are related to your industry. So for example, if you are looking to get into marketing and there is a, a association at your work, such as, for example, at my work, there's the Black Professionals Network. If they need a marketing coordinator to manage their social media platforms, volunteer yourself as that marketing coordinator. It is something that you have to do outside of your nine to five and it is a lot of work, but it helps you build practical experience that you can use on your resume. That is a great way to get into marketing because you can show that yes, I've actually done something within marketing. Also, it can lead you to meet other people who do marketing because if there's a team of marketers who work in that organization, you'll get to meet them as well. What I personally did when I was looking to move from a business analyst role to a marketing manager role, I simply 
started to freelance and do social media marketing. So social media marketing is something that I've always loved to do, even on my own page. So when I wanted to get into marketing, I started doing social media marketing. So I asked my friends and different or companies in my community that have small businesses if I could do their social media marketing for them. This is free work. It is a lot of work outside of your 9 to 5. However, it helps you build a portfolio of different tasks and allows you to show that when you get into an interview. The last thing I suggest is to highlight your transferable skills. So your transferable skills are things that are skills that you already have and that you've learned in your current role that can be applied to your new role. So for example, if you work as a business analyst and you have project management skills because you're constantly managing different projects, as a marketing manager you also need these skills. So highlighting them in your resume and when you actually meet with people is a good way to show that although I don't have the specific title of job that you're looking for, I have all the skills necessary and I can even bring a new perspective into the, the role because um, I've done these same tasks in a completely different role. I think that's a good way to position it. You need to make sure that you know how to market yourself and sell your skills in a way that the hiring manager feels that, okay, this person can do the job though they don't have the formal experience. If you want specific videos about interview skills or mentorship, I can definitely do those videos. So just leave that in the comments below and I'll get them done for you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.